Hi Floss Tube. I'm Kim Chamberlain, the Canal Town Stitcher, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a Stitch With Me video. It's been a few months since I've done a Stitch With Me. Um, this is my Mario sampler. For those of you that have been following me and have watched in the past, this is just a continuous um, continue of that. This is a gift for my son Adam. This is what I have done so far. So I have quite a lot done, quite a lot done. I'm working on, um, I am working on, oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name now off the top of my head. Um, the bad guy. <laughs> this is the bad guy I'm working on. Um, what is his name? Kuba? Anyhow. That's who I'm working on today. So welcome back. Um, we have had a really good week this week. My friend was in from out of town. She leaves tomorrow, but right now they're at a football. They're watching the football. They're watching the Bills game from a bar down here that's a Steelers based, like fan base. So they wanted to go and support the Bills from there, so that's where they are. I don't watch football. My dad and Adam are downstairs. They are watching a game. Otherwise, I'm home alone today. Grace is out with her friend. And so I am here. If you've been following me, I've been working on this since about September, and um, so, yeah. This piece I am stitching in hand, but I am working on several pieces where I'm stitching in the hoop. I thought about doing, like, showing you some of my other ones, like doing a stitch with me with some of the other ones, but I decided to come back to this one because we have been working on this one, so you know what it kind of looks like. And you can also go back and see what, how I was working on it before. Yeah, so my friend Liz has been here, and we had um, we went to Emerald Isle on Saturday. And for those of you that are not familiar with North Carolina's coastline, Emerald Isle is north of where I live. Well, not north really, but like um, east, northeast, I would say. Um. It's a beautiful beach, and in the off season, it's a really nice place to go. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping this. This isn't gonna work out here. I'm trying to find a place to put my phone because my phone has my um has my pattern on it. So I use Good Notes for all my digital patterns. I'm trying to be able to see it, and it's okay. Maybe that'll work. Anyways, we walked about four miles on the beach, um, about two miles one way, and then back two miles, and it was a gorgeous day. And yesterday, we went to Wilmington, and we went to this museum called the Museum of the Bazaar, and it was really not a nice place, in my opinion. If you like horror, you might like that place, but... I am not a big fan of horror, and so it was not my favorite place, but it definitely was an experience. I will say that. Then we went um, for a short walk along the riverfront, and then we got home and we made spaghetti.
today, Liz and I went and took pictures of my son, Ryan, for senior pictures. He finished high school this week. He has one exam on Thursday. But then he'll be done, and he's an early graduate. So we are excited about that. And... So then I would have had two kids graduating within six months of each other. But they were only 17 and a half months apart in age anyway, so super close. Ethan has decided to take a semester off from college, so he's working, trying to get a second job. So we can save up some money. So we've been celebrating that achievement. In my stitchy life, I've been doing a fair amount of stitching. Lipco's been going okay. Number nine and number 22 are called, and for me that is Fruit of Plenty. And um, I Scandinavian Forest, which I thought about doing either one of those with you guys today, too. Sorry for rocking the, the camera. Hope you guys can see this okay. I'll be editing it, so if it doesn't, I'll just refilm. We'll just get it from a different spot then. So I've been watching Modern Family. I switched over to the comedy side of things. I was watching... Um, like the great and um, I had gone through and watched every episode of the Tudors. I had to take a break from the great for the time being just because it's a kind of an intense show. I really like it. The acting in it is some of the best acting I've ever seen. It's so, so good. The chemistry of the cast is really, really good. But some of it is just a little bit too graphic for me. But it's still a really good show, but I needed something funny. And then on New Year's Eve, we we binge watched the Goldbergs for like most of the evening while we played Monopoly. And um, just Adam was home. Some of the other kids were here.
kind of a quiet evening. starting to annoy me. The phone is on low battery mode and it keeps like trying to shut down on me. I keep having to sign back into it and that's annoying me. So tomorrow is Tuesday. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So tomorrow's going to feel like a big fat Monday all day. Yeah, so after we went out for Ryan's pictures today, we went out to lunch. We took him out to lunch. That was nice. And then got home and we took Ryan to work. Now normally what I do with this is I do the black outline for all of it first and then go back in and fill in the color, but this time I just took a jump away from that. I'm going to get back to the black outline now though. I think it's just because it went like it was so like all over the place on this one.
If this is your first time here, you'll see that I did a loop start. I have been doing a loop start since 1998, I think. A friend of mine, when I was in college, my roommate, college roommate actually was a cross stitcher too. And her mom had taught her how to do the loop start. And I didn't have anybody to teach me how to cross stitch. I had only seen cross stitch and really liked it. My aunt um, was a cross stitcher, but she lived in Messina, New York. And so I grew up in a small town called Honey Honeyoy, New York. So I never really saw my aunt. So like I knew that she did it, but like I didn't really have anybody to teach me. So when I met Kathy, my college roommate, um, and she was a cross stitcher, I was like thinking this is great. And we cross stitched a lot together actually. And um she was the one who taught me how to do the loops the loop method, so that was forever ago in my life. But and the funny thing is is that like I have not seen or talked to Kathy since nineteen ninety nine so oops there goes my phone sugar oh, this is annoying I feel like I don't have anywhere to put this to like be able to look at it Yeah, I went to college right out of high school and went to um, Oswego State College in New York. And um, I was not dating my husband at the time, but in 1998, my husband and I started dating. And I finished up my semester at Oswego and then um, in 19 in the in December of 1998 I came back and ended up going to get my associate's degree from um, MCC College in Rochester New York and then went to um, St. John Fisher but then ended up I married my husband in 2000 and then ended up getting a job, a full-time job, um, that took me out of college. And I didn't go back until 2013. And that's when I finished my teaching degree. I got my master's degree in 2019. And I've been teaching full-time since 2016. And in the in-between, I was a stay-at-home mom for about seven years and had my children. And I was always kind of a cross-stitcher on and off. I mean, I did a lot of cross-stitching in my early, early in my marriage. We didn't have Ethan until we had been married for four and a half years. So early in my marriage, I did some cross-stitching. Then when my son, my first two sons were born, I was still doing a little bit here and there. But then when Grace, by the time Grace came along, I really wasn't cross-stitching that much at all. But I did pick it up when I was pregnant with Adam. Because I remember being very pregnant and stitching while I was waiting to go into labor with him, watching TV at night. But for the most part, I've 
for the most part, I really didn't do much stitching at all from the time that um, Adam was born until March of 2020. Um, and even then I wasn't stitching. So like I was crocheting. I had made like four baby blankets when the pandemic first started. I was super duper sick and I'm pretty sure that it was something either COVID or the flu something. Anyways, I got really, really sick in 2020 and crochet really helped to like take my mind off of how sick I was. But by the time I had like made like four baby blankets, I was really getting tired of crochet. So I went back to my cross stitching bin, which I had always kept in my closet. And I was like, what's in here that I can work on? And I um, pulled out a piece that I had been working on from a just cross stitch magazine. And it was three quarters of the way done and I finished it. So then I was thumbing through YouTube one day and um, came across Stitching with the Housewives, started watching Floss Tube, and before I knew it, I was ordering two new patterns and some fabric from Everything Cross Stitch. Picked up another piece that I had been wanting to make and stitched that. And... Um, was watching floss tube. I was a pretty monogam monogamous stitcher, like at first, but quickly became a whip woman. Um, I think in 2020 I had maybe four projects going, which was a lot for me, but, um, now I have a total of 36 projects. I think tonight is going to be an early bedtime. I am feeling so tired. Is he supposed to look like a cow? Because he totally looks like a cow to me right now. wonder what his, he's supposed to look like. He's supposed to look like a cow. Like a bull. Sort of looks like a bull. So that's a little bit of my stitching story for those of you that don't know and haven't been here. I'm coming up onto my third anniversary for floss tube. So I started in January of 2021 filming. I had always liked to film. I sold paparazzi jewelry for about three years the pandemic really killed my business but that was okay because I was ready to I was ready to say goodbye to it um but what I found was that I really like to be like in front of the camera sharing things with people excuse me with people so it wasn't necessarily about the sales. It was more about the connections that I was making with people. So 
So, see if it's starting to come together. Um, starting a floss tube was really easy for me because it combined two things that I really liked. Um, it combines the cross-stitching that I love and connecting with people. You know who I really miss but really enjoyed was Crystal Rowe. I miss her. She used to do a lot of Stitch With Me videos. I've done several Stitch With Me videos over the years. But really got into it this past year in 2023. Like, I posted more Stitch With Me videos than I had in the past. Figure I'll sit with you guys for a little bit longer. And then I'll go down and fix something to eat. some of this head outlined tonight. Oh, before I know it's going to be February. Gosh, I felt like it was taking so long for these kids to become teenagers, and now I feel like I don't have very much time left with them. They're all so different. Oh, I hope that you share with me what you're stitching on today while you're watching. Just leave it in the comments. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Please like and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram at Kimberly.Chamberlain.14. 
and I will try to be better about posting pictures of my stitching so people can find it there. I'm not as good at that right now, but one of my goals for 2024 is to become better at it. <laughs> Oops. Did one too many here. Starting to form his little his little shape there. watch some whip reads when I'm done. By the way, my 2022, I mean 2022, my 2023 whip braid part one and part two are posted. Canal Town Stitcher. Part 
Part 1 contains a finish parade from last year as well. So we get to see all the all of the pieces that I finished in 2023 except for one that was already sent. Actually two, two ornaments that I finished. Because it's not my typical stitching position, so my head is like facing more downward than it normally is. I'm trying to stitch like this. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm getting stuffy. Dust, I think. So I was fine all day. No. Mm, no. Grace is asking me if I can pick her up later. I told her it's going to be not at 10 o'clock at night because I am tired and I have to work tomorrow. But I have to pick up Ryan anyway, so I was told her I would pick her up around 9.30. There's one more stitch left in this. All right, I'm going to finish up this stitch. And go ahead and anchor it back here. And then I am going to call this stitch with me done. And go make some dinner. I hope you all have a pleasant rest of your evening. And that you're stitching, or morning, or whenever you're watching, I should say. So I don't know where you are or when you're watching. But I hope that you're enjoying your time. This is what we have today. King Koopa. He's going to look like this when he's done. Which, if you follow Mario, you'll know what he's going to look like, but... This is what he's going to look like when he's all done. So, we're doing okay. We're getting there. All right. Well, I hope everybody has a good day, good night, good morning. 
and that you um, have enjoyed my video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.